picking not too long ago and uh, David, my sister Shayna, and myself all decided that we're gonna do an apple competition similar to the donut competition uh, <laughs> that we did some months ago, the, the donut one for Valentine's Day. So we're having an apple competition and like I won last time, I'm gonna win again. But I'm gonna walk you guys through what I'm making. Mine is gonna be a vegan apple crisp. Um, and you know what, I think I'm gonna put my hair up so I'm not messing with it because I just washed it today. Uh, but I believe I have everything that I need, except ice cream. Maybe I'll ask Dave to grab me some, um, of the vegan ice cream. But I'll show you guys step by step what I'm doing, and then I'll probably insert their stuff. Right now I'm using my vlog camera. Maybe I'll record them with the regular camera so it doesn't look maybe too crazy. I'm not sure. But, um, I just have four apples here. I'm gonna peel them, slice them, and then I'll be back. So, yeah, let me get my, let me put my hair up and wash my hands and all that. I'll be back. So this is what it's looking like so far. I'm just peeling um, the apples and I'm gonna cut them up really thin. I'll show you guys that in a second. And David just did a walk by saying that I'm not gonna win. Oh my gosh! You know I'm gonna win! Goodbye. Okay, so I just wanted to update you on my progress. This is the mixture that's like in, like on top of the apples, not the crumbled part yet. So this has um, my vegan butter, my Earth Balance, <laughs> my earth balance um it has some brown sugar i put some almond milk in here vanilla extract uh a little bit of salt some cinnamon lime um, lemon juice did i say vanilla extract i think that's all so far and i'll probably just taste it and see maybe if i want to add some nutmeg and then next i um let me turn the camera on me and next I'm going to be doing the crumb topping but when I looked uh, in the cabinet for my oats David used them so I will be waiting for him to come back he ran Ooh, can you see me he ran to the store to grab some so um yeah so while I'm waiting I'll just make sure I mix these two together and I guess I'll be back again Okay, so this is what my apples look like. I already cut them, rinsed them, all that stuff, and I put them in here. And then this mixture is going to go on here, and we're supposed to make sure it is coated well. But it's hard to hold this camera and make sure I'm actually pouring it on. Hopefully that's enough um, mixture. And I'll just put the, the saran wrap back on and wait for David to come with my last ingredient. I'm going to mix this up. Okay, so David just got back from the store, and now I have my old-fashioned oats. This is a half a cup. There's also flour, brown sugar, uh, cinnamon. I forget what else is in here. A little bit of salt. And then I put my my butter in the freezer. I measured it out, and I just put it in the freezer so when he came back, I could chop it up and then do whatever the recipe said I was supposed to do. So that's what I'm about to do now, and then I'm going to throw it on top of my apples. So I just wanted to show you guys what it looked like. Yeah. Okay, now I'm just going to spread the um, crumble topping all over the top, and then we're going to place it in the oven. I already preheated the oven. It's supposed to be to 375 uh, for half an hour. So I'm just adding this. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm going to win. So this is what my apple crumble pie looks like, ta-da! And then I also made a coconut milk um, caramel sauce. I just have to wait for it to cool down and I want to see how it tastes because if, if it doesn't taste really good I won't use it with this. But this is what my um, apple crumble pie looks like, vegan, yay! What's up guys? So the winner is here. Stop! Um, just so you guys know, as you can hear my wife is behind the camera. But um, I'm just going to give you guys a quick introduction to what I have. Real quick, we just have some cork apples. Um, I did that by hand. You can do it. I mean, no, it's not that good. Um, what are they, babe? They're corked? What? I corked them. <laughs> I've never heard of that. Okay, continue. I didn't cork them. Like Go! <laughs> uh, lemon, cinnamon. You can use your favorite flavor of uh, spread. I just have apricot spread. Some powdered sugar, and we're gonna make floured 
they're gonna look like flowers, but they're pastry, um, apple pastries. Uh, I'm still gonna win. Get ready for it. See you in a minute. Wait, you don't. Where's your puff pastry? Oh, sorry. In the fridge. Uh. I bought the pepper pepper ridge. Pepperidge. Pepperidge Farms. Yeah, Pepperidge Farm. Why are you correcting me? You're behind the camera. <laughs> Puff pastry sheets. Um, it only calls for one that you need for in order to make six pastries. I'm gonna make twelve, so we'll just double it up. Obviously. Oh. Obviously. Okay, so should we check back in with you? See you guys in a minute. It's hot here. Peace. I'm just going to add this into the water. What the water is actually going to do is going to help soften the um, apples. So you can roll it. And I have to add a little more water. And then you're going to take a half of a lemon, the juice from half a lemon, and put it in here as well. And we're going to put this in the microwave for three minutes. What I did is I took the pa the puff pastry, I just rolled it out. Um, you're going to cut it six inches long, three inches wide. Um, use the knife, I'm going to use the knife to actually separate them within that distance from each other. And then I use the apricot, the all fruit apricot spread. Just add a little bit of water and then mix it together. We'll see where we go from there. Oh yeah, let me check on my... Alright, these are good. Apples, nice and soft. Cool. Okay, Pierre. What you got going on there? Taking the apples. I spread the apricot um, spread in the middle. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to take the apples and lay it on the top. And then we're gonna roll it. So I make sure your apples are nice and soft. So now that we're finished, uh, they kind of look like roses a little bit. See them? You can take some of this uh, ground cinnamon. I'm just going to sprinkle over the top. Take some of the powdered sugar and do the same thing. This is powdered sugar that actually Sherelle made from scratch using a blender. So we'll just take a pinch. Poke the top. It's a little messy. See my sister over here shaking her head. Yeah, it looks good, I know. I still bought the pot from the Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Alright. I wrote it in Spanish on the jar so me and you can understand it. Wow. <laughs> you guys want to see a hater over there coloring? A hater. Alright, and we are set to go in the oven. The oven should be prepped at 375. Let me wash my hands. Yep. And that's gonna go in for 30 minutes. Hi guys, OMG, I'm vlogging. How cool. Wait, I should be looking into the camera and not up at myself. But let me fix my hair first. Okay. I sure did wash my hands then. Anyway, so I'm gonna make some cress croissant 
croissantaples. I, I, I made it be called because it's croissants and apples. I don't quite know how I'm going to put this together. I saw a recipe online, but it's a little bit different than what I'm going to do. I'm going to try jazzing things up since we all... We all know how well I cook and bake. I'm a baking queen, so we'll see how this goes so far, but you'll be following me every step of the way. Stay tuned. Oh, there we go. First call of action is I actually did use some, like, fruit I got, an apple pie filling that I got from the store, just because it's going to make things a little bit faster, but I'm also going to use apples that were cut up. Um, croissants, some um, extra ingredients here, some coconut flavor, some brown sugar, some flour. And what am I going to do now is I'm going to mix it all together. And I put my croissant rolls already laid out. I put them in the oven because they have to get a little bit crispy. Just so that the inside will, will um, cook as well. And it won't end up like David's um, donuts. So, wow. thanks. Okay. So, I have everything mixed in. This is going to be the filling. I use coconut that you would use for like, um, what's it called again? Like a drink, like a pina colada. I also use the apple pie filling. I use nutmeg, cinnamon, and um, some coconut flakes as well. And I'm going to take the pie out, I mean the pastry out of the oven and then fill it and then we're going to do the top. Alright. So, I put the pie filling in. And I folded over the cr cr the uh, crust. I actually put it in there for a little bit longer than I should have because it got a little bit brown, but that's okay. We'll see if how how well this works. I don't think this has to cook down too too much. And um, I combined Sherelle's organic butter so that she can eat it as well, and some brown sugar, and then put that on top. And then I cut up some fresh apples and put that on top as well for a little bit of a crisp. And we'll put, pop this in the oven, let it brown a little bit, and we'll see how it turns out. This is called croissant, croissant apples. Put yours on the, on the same shelf, because you're just going to overcook in the bottom. This is looking good, guys. David's on top, and mine is there. Looking good. This is the finished product for Shea Shea's. We're gonna, we're gonna plate it. No. That's mine. Oh, see, yours this one's looks a little pretty. off. Looks a little weird. And that's Relly's. Don't laugh. Right, and my laugh. So this is the loser one and loser two. No. So this is what the plate looks like. Um, in the middle, I just have my oh, vegan ice cream. Let me just show you what brand I use. I use soy delicious dairy free coconut milk Jeez. vanilla bean. They also have some from um uh that's made with almond milk. Who who makes it, Trina? Do you remember? Uh-uh. Is it almond breeze? I'm not sure, but this one's really good too if you like coconut milk. But that's what my plate looks like. They're just having regular um ice cream. I think Briars they're using. Yeah. But we're gonna have a taste test in a second. Callie. And I must point out that this is Shayna's plate. She has her ice cream. But if you look on the side, her pastry that she made got stuck to the foil. So she she, she said she was going to take that one. So I thought that was pretty funny. I had to show you guys. But the kids have ice cream. We're about to do a taste test. All right. So don't mind these pencils. Let me move them to the side. We have made it to the yeah, table wait, successfully wait. with our apple desserts. This is our official bake-off cook-off for... I don't know, what month is this? October, because this is probably the last month we could do stuff with apples. Next. So, we're gonna have a taste test. The kids don't know who made what. So, okay, I guess everybody try, which one first? Mm. Which one do you wanna try first? Wait. Which one is mine. that? Wait. Oh. I don't know which one's mine. Oh, we'll do one. The flat we'll one? Ones. This flat one? We're gonna try this flat one first. <laughs> I have to win. Mmm. Mm. It's actually good. Mmm. <laughs> mm. don't eat all the yeah. Mmm. This is actually really good. <laughs> and I'll leave the um recipes down below. I'm not sure if I'm gonna type them or put a link or whatever for you guys, but one was good. Okay. Next is gonna be 
Which one? Which the one? puffy one. The puffy one? one? How do you eat this one? Eat with your hands. It's hot. Can we note the burntness on my bottom? <laughs> nope, taste this. Perfect. I hate this. Good? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Good cow? Thumbs up? Okay, and should we try this crumbly one last? I know, beautiful. Yeah. Okay. No, okay. Mind you, did are these these are all made vegan, huh? Mm. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. This one's the best. Callie. I should have put this thing on a tripod. Which one? Which one is that? Um, it's not mommy. It's so yummy. Which one is it? <laughs> Which one? You got powder I think I'm in my glory. Wait, so did we all vote that the crumble one is the best? We all vote. The taste test is brother. Hmm? The taste test is good. What do you say, David? Alea said crumbly. What did Cal say? You know what Cal said. He said crumble? Oh, okay. Okay. The ice cream's great. I would say all three. Not this one. Today's is probably the best tasting. Okay. I agree. I'm not being biased. <laughs> David is most beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have to cook this time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yours is actually really good though. But the taste testers have spoken. Mm -hmm. That's not the, the only category. Did you get to the center of the thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm in it right now. Taste that. I don't know who is this. Mm -hmm. I think I ate the center of it, right? Mm -hmm. No, I think you have to just a crisp. I know which one's no. really Wait, we're gonna we're gonna talk amongst ourselves and I'll be back. Yeah. Lay, hold on, puppy. Lay, who's first place? Who won? Didi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bogus. 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 I'm the queen. I'm the best cooker. Cow, who won, Bubba? Did yes! I love you, Callie! <laughs> yes. Okay, who's in second place? Who's who's that? Who are you pointing at? Dio. Dio? Mm -hmm. Who's in second place, Papa? Me? Mm -hmm. Oh, Mommy! Oh, I seen you point over there, too, Shayna. <laughs> so that makes you, ma'am, in third place. Okay, now for the adult palettes, that makes sense. Who do we say? What? 